Firstly, thank you to my parents who have welcomed Rory into the family with open arms. Dad, although Rory isn't a Greek stallion, I hope you can accept a delicate English rose instead. (laughs) I'm sure most of you know that Rory's idea of getting married was going to the registry and then off to the pub. So it means a lot that he agreed to all of this and even showed up. (laughs) I'm so lucky to have met someone that's so caring and loving and he can make me laugh like no one else. Alina is someone who I think is a perfect match for Rory and they complement each other really well. They don't take themselves too seriously, have a great sense of humour and they're going to have a lifetime together full of laughs. I promise to love you and be your best friend, to respect and support you, to be patient with you, work together to achieve our goals and to accept you unconditionally. I promise to do all these things, not because I have to, but because it makes me happy to see you happy. Just like the birds and the bees. We always talk about what we'd do if we won the lottery, but I have already hit the jackpot. Mm. You are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could ever imagine and more loved than I ever thought possible. It's difficult to put into words how special Alina is to us. We are so very proud of her and we love her dearly. She has been a joy in our lives and she has been lucky to have taken after me in the good looks department. First up, I'd like to say a big thanks to my parents for all of their support. Uh, My dad said I had to thank him for moulding me into a younger version of himself. (laughs) So I asked a couple of my mates what I should say in this speech and they all agreed that on this occasion I should just not be myself, right? Just try be as romantic as possible because it is your wedding day. I think she knows what she's committed to here. It's, it's not much of a surprise. With that said, she does look amazing today, as she does every day. And I couldn't be happier to have met such a genuine, kind and caring person. About a year ago, Mum and I were organising a box that belonged to my grandmother Rachel. And in it, I found an old letter she had written to my granddad Billy when he was away in Canada. But she wrote something at the end that I hope she wouldn't mind me using for the rest of our lives, which is, I love you, my darling. I'll see you when you come home. 